When you think of a model, glitz and glam probably comes to mind. But one model is blazing her own trail through the fashion industry and beyond, using her star power to create solar power for those in need. Cassie Hudson has this Feel Good Friday story. Grace Mahari lights up the runway. You're on. And now she's lighting up the world. Being a model, you know, I've been fortunate to see other parts of the world. So the more homes I saw living without access to energy, I realized that this is a problem that I wanted to help change and fix. So she created Project Sahai, which means sun translated from the African language of Tigrinya. Don't be alarmed by Sahai. It's not that crazy of a word, I promise. Like it's tea and then Sahai. Its mission is to bring uninterrupted clean energy to communities that desperately need it around the world using solar equipment. So what does that mean? Right now we're giving solar energy to communities that don't have access to electricity. So we're giving people solar panels physically with a battery and three lights. And that in itself is helping you know, students come home and do homework because they have light to see what they're doing. Uh, it's helping mothers at home cook. And in the future, we wanna help hospitals and schools themselves be completely lit by clean energy. According to the World Bank, more than a billion people on the planet live without electricity. People in these homes are living in the dark at nighttime. Having a solar panel and a battery and lights would change the way they live every day. You can read, you can get on your phone. Energy is something we, we often take for granted. I'm here showing you how the solar products we're sending to communities in East Africa work. Super simple, four steps. Step one, direct sunlight. Step two, let the solar panel charge the battery. Step three, Plug in your appliances. We have a phone charger and a light bulb. Step four, you're on. Grace was born and raised in Canada, but her parents are from the East African country of Eritrea, a place where 70% of people live off the electrical grid. So I'm a bit of a rebel because I like to experience things on my own and in my own way. Most people that go back to Eritrea, you know, because their family go back with their family, I went alone. I went after walking for Givenchy in Paris, it's, you know, a big, big designer, and I decided I needed to get in touch with where my family's from and where I'm from. And in that trip, I started to realize, wow, people live so differently around the world, and I have that much more of an incentive to do something about it. In January, Project Sahai had its first fundraiser in New York City called Pedal for Power. The event was hosted at Soul Cycle, a popular indoor cycle studio. I was there. What? What? You were there for sure. <laughs> it was so much fun. It was an unreal energy that was created by her coworkers from the catwalk, who showed up to spin and sweat for a good cause. It meant the world to have people from my industry there to support. Like I was so overwhelmed by the end of it. I was like, oh, you guys are here. <laughs> The event not only shed a light on their first mission trip, but flicked the switch on Project Sahai's bright future. You know, every year our goal is just to impact at least one community. And if we can do that, I mean, that's my dream come true. Cassie Hudson, Channel One News. Hey y'all, it's Emily. Thanks for checking out my video. To watch more of our videos, click right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest from Channel One News.